Happening today, hundreds of people will be climbing the stairs of the one Kansas City Place Tower. The reason? The fight lung disease. 41 Action News reporter Jordan Betts live this morning with more. Good morning. Hey, good morning. It's called the fight for air climb. Say you want to, it's maybe a little too cold for you outside, even though it might be a beautiful day. You can come inside, climb some stairs, like you said, for a good reason. It's all with the American Lung Association. Joining me this morning is Linda Kreider. Um, it's, I went to this last year and was so surprised about how pumped people are to climb some stairs. <laughs> it's kind of shocking. It is. It's a unique event and it's very unique to Kansas City. And I think that's why the community just really comes out and supports it. Mm -hmm. More than 40 flights of stairs, right. more than 600 stairs they're going to be climbing. How many people are you guys expecting? Because I know this is your fifth year and it gotta, it's got to be growing. It, it is. It's our fifth anniversary and we're expecting well over 750 climbers. There will be several hundred friends and family coming out to cheer everyone on. So a good chunk of people, well over a thousand people will be here today. And it's a family friendly event. So people will come out and bring their kiddos. We have Happy Faces Entertainment here. We've got the DJ to get everybody pumped up. But the real reason that we're here is we're supporting all of those who are fighting to breathe every day. And so we are bringing awareness, um, research dollars, education to those individuals who are affected by asthma. Number one reason kiddos are missing exactly. school and lung cancer, lung disease. So that's really why we're here today. Yeah, that's amazing. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. Yeah. This is all kids, kicks off at 8 a.m., correct? Yes, 8 a.m. it kicks off. I mean, it's so cool when those people go right up the stairs um, and just, you were talking about firefighters in their gear. I mean, people who have lost loved ones. So it's a really emotional thing that happens here. We'll send it back to you guys. All right, thanks a lot, Jordan. Today at the Kansas City Zoo, you can enjoy a special penguin march. At 11 a.m., the birds strut around the Hellsburg Penguin Plaza, offering you an up-close opportunity to see them. The march today will feature the king and gentoo penguins. Its free admission at the zoo is free. Just one of many great events happening in our city and in our area that you can check out on what's going to be a gorgeous day. Yes, yeah, it'd be great to get outdoors or go from place to place. Right now, we are looking at highs today in the 60s. There'll be a lot of clouds, thicker ones off to the east. We still could make, a, make a, an official uh, run at 70. We're going for 67. And this cold front will come through and kind of interesting. Here we are going into March and thunderstorms will be possible, mainly to our southeast this evening. We'll look at that and we'll look into the first week of March. It can snow in March too. We'll have all that coming up. All right, let's take a look ahead at what's happening this week around Kansas City. Overland Park City Council will meet Monday night. They will look at bids on various street improvement projects. This includes Knoll from 83rd to 95th, Metcalf from 75th to 91st, and College Boulevard from Fulham to Schweitzer. And much more. Meetings at 7.30 p.m. at City Hall. And starting tomorrow, it's Severe Weather Awareness Week across Kansas and Missouri. Now, this is video from last year's tornadoes in Linwood and Lawrence, Kansas. The campaign is intended to increase public awareness about severe weather and tornadoes. The Lee Summit Fire Department will conduct a statewide fire drill in Missouri on Tuesday at 10 a.m. All businesses and schools are encouraged to participate in the drill. And don't forget, you can stay connected with us at any time with Kansas City's most accurate forecasts, including weather alerts and live radar. Download our free 41 Action News app today. Coming up this week is another budget hearing in Kansas City. It's one of three that the city is offering on the upcoming budget for the city for 2020 and 2021. At the last meeting, many people expressed their opinions on the city spending money on the arts as well as fixing the potholes. The meeting will be this Thursday from 11:30 a.m. to 1:30 p.m. at the Kansas City Health Department. The next meeting after that will be this Saturday. The Chiefs celebrated last night at the NFL 101 Awards in Kansas City. Find out who took home the big honors. Paying for college isn't easy for everyone. How some students are doing it in unconventional ways. Coming up. On to some Chiefs news. According to Therese Baylor of Yahoo Sports, the Chiefs will not exercise their option to return offensive lineman Cameron Irving. Now, he was traded to Kansas City from Cleveland back in 2017. Irving appeared in 13 games this season, started in eight of those. The move creates a $3.2 million in cap space for the Chiefs in 2020. And a couple of Chiefs were honored on Saturday night at the 101 Awards in downtown KC. Tyron Matthew was named Derek Thomas MVP. McCole Hardman, the Mac Lee Hill Rookie of the Year, both looking forward to being back at the Super Bowl next year.
I mean, we'll, we'll enjoy this victory, um, but I know the guys in our locker room, um, they're going to want to get back to work and hopefully do it again. It's going to be tough. I think we got the guys in the room that can, that can make it happen. We got to coach the staff forward, and now we know what it takes to get there and win it. And Saturday was day three of the NFL Combine. Defensive linemen and linebackers on the field. The zoo players Jordan Elliott and Kale Garrett showing off their skills. Kansas linebacker Azur Kamara ran a 4.59 in the 40. Olathe North alum and Clemson linebacker Isaiah Simmons showed out in the 40. He ran a 4.39. And the Royals were at the Seattle Mariners facility today in Peora, Arizona. Royals get the win 9-6, much thanks to six runs that came in the fifth for KC. Greg Holland was on the mound afterwards. He felt like he repeated his delivery well and threw a lot of quality pitches. Later in the season, I might try to get expand the strikes on those, but I'm trying to throw them for strikes because I, you know, that's a lot harder for me to do than, than to throw it below the zone. So I really want to key it on pounding the strike zone, um, even times when I am maybe ahead in the count. That's a look at your morning sports. Have a great Sunday. Sporting KC had a big win in its first match of the season Saturday. The team traveled to Vancouver, Canada to take on the Whitecaps and they beat them 3-1. to one. Sporting's home opener will be Saturday against the Houston Dynamo at Children's Mercy Park. This baseball season, we're looking forward to school day at the K on May 6th. Students will get a science lesson from our meteorologist and get to watch the Royals play the Houston Astros. For more information, head over to the Royals.com slash school day. And that's sure to be an exciting day for everyone, Jeff. Oh, no, absolutely. It is going to be very exciting. We are preparing for it. some very, very cool experiments. And also today, not only March 1st, but it's February Statistics Day. The highest temperature was 65 on February 2nd. It was 64 yesterday. The month finished 1.9 degrees above average zero on Valentine's Day, but in the morning it warmed up in the evening and then snowfall 3.1 inches only one day with measurable snow in February. Very odd month and precipitation at KCI 0.68, which was 78 hundreds below average. There were many systems that kind of missed us off to the east. Yeah, a Super Bowl day parade. We had, had some snow, but it was mostly to the east. I don't think anybody totally complaining about that. And on our border home improvement Skyview Network. It, uh, it is absolutely gorgeous. Sunrise is at 651. Cirrus clouds should make for a very beautiful sunrise. It's mild outside. 53 degrees. A south wind at 15 miles per hour. The wind will be less today than it was yesterday as we are watching a storm on the west coast. This will have an impact on the weather mostly to our south much of the week and for us we have a little disturbance coming through today so there are some high and mid-level clouds. Some low clouds are coming up from the south. It looks like they'll be deflected off to the east and if they are then we will Come very close to 70. If these thicker clouds back in, then we'll be in the low to mid 60s. Either way, it is going to be a nice day. And this cold front will be approaching where the sun is at. It'll be in the 70s out to our west for sure. This front will move through the 